Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your August reading. I know that it took a while <laughs> to get here. I'm not even going to apologize. Y'all know. Mercury retrograde. And then I had some traveling to do. But I am done with the traveling. I am not traveling in August as I hoped to. And um, I am offering 20% off of readings because August is my birthday month. So, if you would like to get a reading with me, I actually have openings next week, too. Um, did you break the silence last month, or did you sit with it and let karma play out? Because I feel like this month, there's so much from the heart. Um, that's happening for you guys. Uh, but I feel like you're so focused on work and keeping your boundaries because there's a fear that there could be more options than you want, right? So we have the Seven of Wands and we have the Ten of Wands. Like, let's be real right now. And we also have the Seven of Cups, okay? Let's be real right now that the burden that you're actually carrying does not have anything to do with all the options that are being presented in front of you because you want these options and some of these options are actually going to bring you healing and clarity the burden is you shutting down and shutting down in a bitter angry kind of way instead of holding firm, holding steady, keeping healthy boundaries. There's a difference between shutting people off because of bitterness and anger and just having healthy boundaries. Having healthy boundaries means that you can be open and vulnerable with other people to come into your life and to accept them into your life and do it with open arms and still be able to say, um, no, still have the option to say no. Here's the thing is you're being presented with some pretty amazing situations in August. And I feel like your burden is accepting that you're being presented with these situations, with all of these options. And, um, I think the reason why this is such a burden for you, <laughs> like to the point to where you don't even want to um, open up to it. Like you don't even you don't even want to be present for these options. And I think the reason why is because you still have some emotional things that you're holding on to that you've got to let go of. So we also have the Hermit and the Eight of Cups. And if you look in that Eight of Cups, it looks very much very familiar. Looks very similar to the Hermit that guy does in the Eight of Cups. So it's almost as if you're hiding away or not showing yourself. I mean, the difference between the Sun card and the Eight of Cups is like night and day. Literally like night and day. So whatever burden it is that you're holding on to, you got to let it go. You have to let it go. It's not about the silence anymore. It's not about the revenge. It's not about the bitterness. It's not about the pain. It's not about the anger. Even to yourself. Like if there's bitterness and anger and pain to yourself. But it's also about being honest, Gemini. And I want you to really, really hear me when I say this. Because if you're not being honest with yourself, and I guarantee you if you're arguing with other people, and you're like arguing your side constantly, and you feel like you're constantly arguing your side of things, over and over and over again. You're not listening. You're only talking. You're not listening and you're not being honest with yourself either because if you constantly have to stand up for your side of the argument, it no longer becomes valid. Because it's like you wouldn't have to convince people so much with your side of the story if it mattered. If your side of the story even mattered anymore, you wouldn't have to convince people. 
you wouldn't feel like, you know what I mean? It's like somebody does you wrong. You want, you're pissed off, you're angry, you're still hurt by it, by the whole thing. And you want to argue your side of the story over and over and over again so people believe you and not them. But if you're still doing that to yourself, if you are still arguing your side of the story and no, and the other person's not even saying anything, your side of the story becomes invalid because it doesn't matter anymore. You can finally let it go. So holding on to is holding on to the pain and resentment of things is going to block all of the blessings and 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 it's going to become even more of a burden you're holding on to something um that is only hurting you right so we have the full moon in aquarius and then the new moon in virgo this month that full moon in Aquarius is going to shed a lot of light on some of the ways that you have been not just putting up healthy boundaries, but actually blocking yourself from blessings. There could be a cancer in your life that you're blocking as well, but there, there could be a cancer or Scorpio energy that is um, kind of a burden to you. Let's see what this 10 of wands is, but I want to say that this burden it's almost over for you. and But the thing is, is the way that it's going to be over is if you say, okay, I'm done. And you're the one that sets those down. You're the one that sets all 10 of these wands down. And you're like, yeah, I'm done with the burden. I'm not going to do the burden thing anymore. I'm done with it. So let's see. 10 of wands. Yes, that's the thing. It's the sadness that you're holding on to. And, and here's the thing is you can also try and convince yourself that you're not upset by it anymore. But you clearly are because you're still holding on to it. It was hurtful. That five of cups. You are dwelling. You're focusing on the wrong thing. What you still have in front of you, those two cups, they're still full. Instead, the burden that you're carrying is the focus of the three cups that are spilt. <coughs> so, let's see what all of these options are that you have, Gemini. Let's see what this seven of cups represents for you. Because uh, <laughs> you're like, I don't know. You do. You have a lot of decisions to make. And I feel like it's going to be... Um, like financially something that you're going to want to pay attention to all of those cups in front of you may seem really blurry and out in the distance but i feel like with the two of pentacles there is an opportunity to gain some to have some financial gain but where do you place that where do you if you're still the energy that you're still holding holding on to if you're still holding on to um, the emotional aspect of what happened to you and you're not focusing forward on the things that you need to do to progress, it's going to be even more of a burden than like later on in August. Because once we hit Virgo season, it's all about the harvest. It's all about um, the gains from everything we planted all summer. All about the gains. And that's what I want you to see. The sun is the best card in the deck. So you actually, all of the clarity that you need this month is your perspective, your truth, your honest truth perspective. And not focusing on what other people are doing and not focusing on... Um, the things that happened in the past because the more you're focusing on the negative things that have happened to you and not the positive things that could happen to you then the more you're going to manifest negative energy 
let's see what this sun is because I feel like there's some kind of amazing energy coming in um, and you're craving it. It's time for you to have it. You're really, really craving it. And um, it could be a Virgo, could be Virgo energy, but the page of cups on the sun, woo, you are so craving affection and love and attention. And if you're going to be really honest with yourself, what's going to heal you is your own love, affection, and attention that you're going to give back to yourself. That's what the sun the sun represents Leo energy. It is about being confident. And while we're in Leo season, that confidence comes from the inside out. Sometimes it comes from the outside in if you're looking fresh, if you're looking fly. You can feel really confident that way too. But there's got, something's gotta give. Something's gotta give with you, Gemini. Because you can't sit in a spot where you want something from somebody else just to feed your ego, to make you feel better. You know what I mean when I say that? And I know that you, It's so funny. It's like, okay, so I was watching Orange is the New Black, and the very first episode of Orange is the New Black is um, Piper, if you've never seen it, the main character, she's a Gemini, and she legit sabotages everything in her life. She really tries to pull her shit together, and she really tries to, like, be on the up and up and be really, like, solid and strong and all of it, right? And then she'll do something... Um, on purpose and sabotages herself and afterwards she just kind of shrugs her shoulders and she's like I know I screwed up I know what I did I know they're gonna hate me I know this I know that like but it's like she understands the regret of it and she understands that she sabotaged herself but she does it anyways and she knows what she's doing in the moment she still does it right it's like the perfect definition of what you guys can do you could be looking at somebody right in the face and saying yes, but shaking your head no and believe both of them. It's your twins, right? It's the aspect of your twins. And it is. It's like night and day, night and day, night and day. So what I really want you to do is to start looking at the value of what you've been giving to everything in your life. If there is no value to what you've been giving to everything in your life right now and you're focused on what somebody else did to you or what this person did to you or what you did to this person or whatever it is, I don't care what it is. If that's what you're focusing on and you're not focusing on the value of what you can give and where you can give it, things are going to get really, really hard. One of the ways you can get balanced is introspection. You could be dealing with a Libra that has run away or a Virgo that's trying to get balance in their life. But more than anything, I feel like your balancing act is found in your introspective state. When you're alone, nobody else is around. It could also be that you're getting divorced. Yeah, I don't think there's divorce from a Virgo. I do feel like there is some kind of legal activity that's going on around a Virgo for some of you. That's not for all of you. That's just for some of you. You could be wanting more attention from the Leo energy. You could be wanting more attention from the Scorpio or Cancer energy as well. Um, but this journey of self-discovery that you're on, the Eight of Cups, healing, leaving all of the baggage behind, all of that emotional stuff that you hold on to, and journeying within yourself is going to be really amazing. And it could be that you're having to leave an earth sign behind that has made you feel very, very left out, and now you are a little bit damaged from it and... 
because they could not be a bigger person. Um, the King of Pentacles on the Eight of Cups. You could actually be leave, leaving an Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody who could not show up for you. Page of Pentacles. And really put you in defense mode and made you feel like you were left out. Made you feel like you were left out. Five of Pentacles. And in de defense mode, which in turn makes you crazy anxious. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. Slowly but surely, you're going to pull yourself out of this. And I feel like towards the end of the month with the Virgo new moon, that's where the balance is going to come from. So I have the Page of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely, if you take the natural steps forward that you need to, you will pull yourself out of this state and heal. Part of this is recognizing your own power and seeing how very strong you really are. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, thank you very much for showing up to your reading, King of Swords. And then you can put all your love back into your work again. Because now you are focused on the goal and not the shit that happened. It might take most of August for you to get there. And I know that's going to be really frustrating for you. But I guarantee you by the time we hit Virgo season which is on the 23rd of August. And then the new moon in Virgo, which is on August 30th, there's going to be a whole different perspective in your mind. For now, focus on yourself. Focus on healing and letting go of the past. Because the past, it's you can't change it. You can't change what happened. You can't change what they said. You can't change what they did. What you can change is the way that you choose to react to it or not react to it, you know? All right, my dears, like I said, 20% off all readings through the month of August to celebrate my birthday, which is not until the end of August. It actually is on the new moon, August 30th. Yay, me. Um, pendants, there are, they will be restocked tonight. So there should be some more pendants on the website by tonight. And I love you guys. And have a wonderful August. And thank you for being really patient for your reading. And uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.